Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and today guys I have an awesome video for you. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are gonna love this and uh, Yeah, we're gonna be taking the whole comet theory to a whole new level with what we're about to say in this video uh, But before we actually get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches guides videos giveaways Especially the giveaways guys today's video. I actually have a raven skin giveaway Way. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, leave a like on the video, and also comment down below banana juice. That is pretty much all you have to do, guys. And uh, yeah, you might have a chance at winning a free Raven skin. Um, other than that, today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about this whole new comet thing and a brand new map possibly coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Yes. A brand new map guys that is right I'm really excited about this because I have seen what this new map will most likely look like and it gets me really excited it looks absolutely amazing it is definitely something that I really really want in the game if other than that like I said yes the comet theory so a lot of people have been speculating about this meteor coming to hit the game and everything a lot of people have been saying that it's going to hit tilted towers but as of lately just me personally, I mean, I've seen other people talk about this too on the Reddit, but me personally, I've seen that this comet looks like it's actually going to be hitting Spawn Island. I mean, honestly guys, go inside your game right now, look up into the sky, look at where the comet is like, tra the trajectory, I guess, yeah. Look at the comet's trajectory, and honest to god, it looks like it's going to hit the Spawn Islands that you spawn in in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now this would be kind of crazy because if it did actually hit the spawn island, what does this exactly mean? Does this mean that the spawn island will no longer let us spawn there? Does it mean that it's going to introduce a new map to the game? I think so personally and I think this is one of the most best kept secrets that Fortnite have ever done since they actually did the Fortnite Mobile. I mean, honestly, how many of you guys knew that they were going to be doing Fortnite Mobile? They were working on Fortnite Mobile three to four months before it was actually released. Now, it is very possible that they have been working on a brand new map for even longer. And I genuinely think they have. I genuinely feel like they've seen how much negativity the new map or the old map has been receiving, you know, because Tilted Towers has kind of ruined the dynamic a little bit, you know, it kind of did because the whole right side of the map is kind of not as good as the left hand side of the map. I mean, all of the places you can land on the left side of the map are 10 times better than the right side. So there is a lot of map dynamic problems that are going on right now in the actual game itself. Now, although I believe that they should fix this by putting another big city on the right hand side of the map, they could be just eliminating the process altogether and they could actually be going and creating a new map for us to play on. Now, honest to God, I would really love it if there was two full maps in this game. You know, you could play on the, the, the grassy map or you could play on the map that I'm about to reveal to you guys. You know, it, either would be really good, but they might actually do it like the vault, you know? They don't allow the weapons to be rotated out. They put one away into the vault until a later date. Maybe that's what they're actually going to do with the old map. Maybe they're going to put the old map into the vault, let us play on this new map for a while, and let us experience it while they actually make changes to the old map that we don't recognize. How pretty awesome would that be? I mean, I genuinely would love that. I really would. Uh, but what I'm actually going to be showing you guys right on screen right now is a map that they're actually introducing into Fortnite Save the World. This is a desert map, and although it is Fortnite Save the World, a lot of the things that get introduced into Fortnite Save the World get introduced into Fortnite Battle Royale. It's a it's a big fact. I mean, it's, it's happened in the past, and it will continue to happen in the future. I know, like... They've never done this before. They've never introduced a desert map into the game before. And this is a first time kind of thing. And if you look at it, I mean, look how amazing this looks like right now. It looks amazing. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Although there could be a couple more things around the map, such as trees to kind of hide behind and everything. This looks like it could be the next map for Fortnite Battle Royale. I mean, if we take a look at, I guess a lot of people say that Fortnite copied Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Personally, I think it did, but you know what? They did better than them, and they made the game, they made the Battle Royale genre so much better than PUBG ever did. But if we look at PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, the first map was kind of a grassy kind of themed looking place, and then the next map they actually brought out was Minimar, I believe, and that was a desert map. And look at this. 
Fortnite Save the World are now introducing a desert map into Fortnite Save the World. Could it be that this is the next map that we're gonna see at the end of this month? Out of nowhere, they're just gonna completely release it without even saying anything, just like they did with Fortnite Mobile. They are gonna blow our socks off and say, guys, for the past four months, we've been working on a map. Here it is. Let's get rid of the old map for a little while while we make some changes. Guys, I know for a fact that a lot of people are going to hate on this because we don't like change. As humans, we hate change. I mean, we are very... We like... Uh, I guess we like reliability. As humans, we like things to be reliable. We like things we know. We don't really like change. And I know for a fact a lot of people are going to hate on this. Personally, for me, I'm the opposite. I kind of like change. I think this would be absolutely amazing. And you know what? If they do introduce this map and not let us play on the old map for a little while, I think that would be a bit of a mistake. I think that they should have it where, you know, when we search for a game, it could put us into a 50-50 split. You know, one map could be, like, you know, one game we could be on the grassy map, one game we could be on the desert map. I think that would be perfect. But if they do decide to get rid of the grassy map for a while, I completely understand why. I completely understand it's because they need to actually, like, they need to work on it. They need to work on the balancing issues and a lot of other things that are on that map. So, I don't know. A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people are saying that the meteorite's actually going to hit into Tilted Towers. Personally, when I go into the game, I look at it and I think, dude, that's going to hit the spawn island. I think it's going to hit the spawn island, guys. And you know what? We will find out at the end of this month. Once the season passes over, we will find out if we are getting a new map. And I bet you, I, I almost guarantee it's going to be a new map. I mean, I, I, I can just feel it. I've said it from the get-go. I feel like we're going to get a new map. And if not, I guarantee they're already halfway through making another multiplayer map right now. And I believe that in Ali A's video a little while ago, uh, they actually said to Ali A that they would be, uh, they, they, they want to make a new map. They want to make a new map to release. And I think they said that because they've already made it. And they're finalizing some of the things with it right now. And that they're going to actually like, yeah, they're going to get the new map ready for when season four is actually here. Uh, but anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you want to see a new map? Do you think it's going to be better than the old map? Do you think that we should get both maps the same? Like, do you think that we should play on both at the same time kind of thing, you know? Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Finally, I would like to say, I know my son's been downstairs playing with his mother right now. He is going ape down there, I swear to God. He's been shouting like crazy about Easter eggs and everything like that. Uh, but anyway, I do apologize if you hear him shouting and just sort of jumping around and everything like that. He's only three years old. He's a crazy little bugger. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I genuinely feel like this is going to happen. And you know what? I know a lot of people say, you're crazy, you're crazy. But... If they release it at the end of the month, come back to this video. Apologize, guys. I, I just think it's going to happen. I really do. But anyway, have an awesome day, guys. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay in the background. And uh, good luck to everybody who wants to win the Raven skin. Remember, it is actually going to be tonight that I announce the winners because the Raven goes off sale tonight. So, uh, yeah. Very importantly, make sure to keep an eye on your notifications today in case you win. Um, other than that, have an awesome day. And until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.